जी हाँ आप अपने स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि हम That was the big moment for Indian space research when the Chandrayaan-3 mission successfully made a soft landing near the south pole of the moon. India has now decided to up the ante in lunar exploration. In a meeting to assess the progress of the Gaganyaan mission this week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that India should now aim at setting up a space station by 2035 and sending the first Indian to the moon by 2040. The Department of Space has confirmed that India's first manned mission to space is progressing as per schedule to launch in 2025. If successful, the Gaganyaan mission would be a milestone in achieving India's manned mission to the moon. But a manned mission to the moon is easier said than done. The Indian Space Research Organisation will need cutting-edge technologies supported by robust policies. international collaboration and active participation from india's growing private space sector the agency has already made significant strides in this direction with the recent success of chandrayaan 3 providing valuable data and insights former director of isro v seshagiri rao believes the key challenge will be to develop reliable life support systems spacecraft capable of withstanding the harsh lunar environment and advanced propulsion systems for a safe journey to and from the moon if you want to send uh, a human on to the moon uh, it is a huge effort uh, the reason being uh, you need a human rated launch vehicle and followed by uh, astronauts crew chamber service uh, crew module service module and they should have a sufficient uh, uh propellant mechanism to travel up to the moon surface and then again uh, uh, bring him back you need the uh, propellant uh, systems also essential is the involvement of india's private space sector experts believe that their active participation in lunar missions can provide the necessary innovation and expertise that isro might need to accomplish this ambitious mission isro is not only one entity can cannot do it it is the collective effort of throughout the country as to participate lot of money will flow to the private industry to demonstrate to get the material because isro cannot uh, develop uh, materials and again the software technology and again your the human power it has to collaborate with the academia institute research institute Pavan Goenka, chairman of the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre, or In Space, recently said that India's space industry can account for eight percent of the global space market in the next decade. This would put its valuation at forty-four billion dollars, including eleven billion dollars in exports. Goenka believes private startups will play a large part in it. Private investments can rise to as much as twenty-two billion dollars over the next ten years. Scientists believe that by collaborating with other space agencies and organizations, ISRO can tap into their resources, expertise, and shared knowledge, thereby reducing the cost and risks. You require a huge, huge technological support from various uh, agencies, uh, industries in India, and let us say already similar development is available uh, across various uh, nations. If there is a collaboration, uh, like uh, let us say. Uh, uh next chandrayaan mission uh, jaxa collaboration is there similar to that uh, uh, it is possible for space faring nations to have collaboration with other countries and uh, make this project a success however the ambitious mission won't come without its share of challenges india's space policy and regulatory framework must adapt to include private sector participation and established liability protocols in the event of accidents International cooperation in outer space is governed by a web of treaties and agreements including the Outer Space Treaty and the Moon Agreement. India will need to work closely with other spacefaring nations to ensure that its activities on the moon comply with these international norms. India's plan to send a man to the moon by 2040 is an ambitious yet attainable goal. If successful, India could become the second country in the world after the US to achieve this feat. To shoot for the moon is easy, turning it to reality will take immense effort. The country's space ambitions will test the mettle of ISRO. 
If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She's working her way to the corner office. Business Standard